Zdravo, Kako si? Hope all is well with yourself right now. Now undoubtedly, the man of the moment has to be one of Serbia's most famous sons, Novak Djokovic. He was in my man of the other day to pick up another Wimbledon title, his 20th Grand Slam, which ties him with Spain's Nadal and Switzerland's Federer, who are both on 20 Grand Slam titles each as well in men's single tennis. So with Djokovic achieving this feat, I thought it was only fair to make a video on the great man himself. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and also check out other videos on Novak Djokovic's home country of Serbia, which I made recently. There's also a video in there where I go to the Belgrade waterfront and go to a bar which his family owns. I'll leave the link in the description. Okay, without further ado, let's follow up Novak Djokovic's Science of the Crowd video made by Novak India fans. And he's got two match points here, Roger Federer. He has come back from the brink in this match. And after four hours and 11 minutes, wow. the crowd are on their feet. He had match points, he was serving. I never stopped believing, although I was quite very close to losing. What a shot. It, it was kind of a flashback of the US Open when I saved the two match points against him as well. Oh my word! Where on earth did Djokovic find that? Commentator then. Oh my word! If you have majority of the crowd on your side, it, it helps. It gives you motivation, it, it gives you strength, it gives you energy. I mean, when you don't, then you have to find it within, I guess. What you said about the crowd being on your side, I agree with that. I liken it to a football match. When the crowd's absolutely pumping, you just raise your game as a player. The fan literally can play a big part in your performance. I, I like to try, uh, you know, transmute it in a way. So when the crowd is chanting Roger, I, I hear Novak. So that's. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's it's. It sounds silly, but it is like that. I try to convince myself that it's like that. And is that like a mental training, or is that something you're doing within the course, Yeah, Of course. Oh, backhand Shot. down the line. Again, with what he just said there, I like that as well. He just said the crowd was against him, but his mental toughness, he's just flipped it around and changed it in his favour to elevate his game to get the results he wants. Having the right mindset in sports as well as life is crucial if you want to win. The mind is a very powerful tool indeed. We were, I think, the only ten that were supporting him in that final against the 25,000 New Yorker fans. But on that, on that very moment, when you miss the first serve and you start the whistle, mm. hoping you make a double fall, that's not so nice. Yeah, I never saw that, actually. That I was... think that was a little bit above. So that's why, why it was so difficult for... I actually don't know how he overcame that. I mean, it, he, he, he must have a, um, a heart of steel and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a mind of a real warrior. To... I think he needs that. It's like uh, every time when it happens, and it happens especially in the United States, yeah. he, he, it's like that he takes it, put it in himself, and throws it out as his power and energy yeah. and winning and everything. Yeah, it looks like he feeds off that energy, whether it's good or bad. I mean, the worst thing for him is everybody's quiet, because yeah. then, then he sort of slows down. But if there is noise, if there is atmosphere of people cheering for or against him, I think he feeds off that. And that worked definitely on the day, but uh, let me tell you. <laughs> Fair play to him. Elite level sportsmen, champions in their field, they find anything to raise their game. The resilience of this man is remarkable. It reminds me very much like Michael Jordan. You know, he would find anything to raise his game to new heights to get that win. Yet again, he's got the crowd against him, but he's using that. He's feeding on that. That shows a lot of character. Был удар с хода, опираясь на левую ногу в открытой стойке, все было вот это прекрасное сечение. Это я. У прием. Даже пытались ему подсказать, но он нас не слушал. К сожалению. То же самое 
То же самое. Федерер's got to be fed up with him. Has to be. Best way to silence a crowd, win. Time violation, I got time violation uh, deservedly because I, I took I took more time. I mean, I, I didn't say anything to a chair umpire for time violation as I never do if if, if they give me a heads up, so to, so to say a pre-warning, which he did and I thought he was very fair. Uh, I knew, I, I, I know I took more time, so it, it's okay. But then, you know, I, I thought the, the crowd's reaction after that was quite unnecessary. You know, a couple of guys really, uh, you know, uh, Pretending they were coughing and, and, and whistling while I was bouncing the ball more or less till the end of the match at that end where I received the time violation. So, you know, but those are the things that uh, obviously people don't don't get to see or hear on the TV or but that's, you know, I just I just think it's 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 not necessary. Tennis is a different beast to football as in regards to crowd behavior. It's not gentlemanly to actually be shouting or putting off a player. As we say in England, it's just not cricket. But again, the crowd are really scoring their own goal because this is really firing him up. You know, and that's that's what um, what I didn't like. Again, Djokovic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New ball, please. Um, and and my interaction with the crowd, I thought I had good things and and not that great things and. I just uh, reacted with the way I thought it was fair, the way they reacted to me. Give me the old Hulk Hogan. <laughs> There was just um, you know some some people, especially behind that end where I, where I got the time violation, were just they kept on going, you know, they kept on going and, and provoking, and that's something that. You know, I can tolerate for a little bit, but um, I'm going to I'm going to show that uh, that I'm present as well. That they can't do whatever they they feel like doing. Listen to it. <laughs> That's just the sheer release of "I'll Show You." You know, you think you can do these things to me, be ungentlemanly, try and put me off my game, I'll show you. Game, set match, drop it. It has probably uh, something to do with uh, I guess the ability to survive on the court, you know, being able to survive those those particular circumstances of war that were, you know, tough for for me and my family, but for everyone who was in our country. Uh, but it was one of these incredibly valuable experiences that have shaped, you know, me into 
the person that I am, you know, today. I think, uh, especially from the the mental strength, uh, never give up, fighting spirit aspect. I think that's, you know, those those type of experiences in the past and the journey that I had to go through um, has definitely helped to, uh, you know, make me more <clears throat> appreciative of things in life, uh, more aware of, you know, where I am and, and who I am. Well, what can I say? I think that deserves a round of applause. What a legend. Superb. I like characters like Djokovic. To him, it doesn't matter about negativity towards him. He uses that as fuel to spur him onto greater heights. Also, I think sports psychology can be used in life in general too. If you've got ambition, hunger, design resilience, you will surprise yourself just how far you can go in life and what you can achieve. Don't ever let anybody or anything get in the way of what you want out of life. Go get it.